Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. And this week we're going to take a look at the wiki service that is built into OS X Server. Now, the wiki service allows you to have a full functioning wiki uh, as a part of the website that's built into OS X Server. And so it allows you to do collaboration, uh, you can share files on the wiki, you can do blogs, all kinds of different things, but it allows you to have your own uh, built-in internal website that functions, uh, like I said, as a wiki, as a place where you can blog, where all of your users can sort of access that site and be able to post things and download things and, and all of that. So it really is designed uh, for collaboration. And so in order for the wiki service to work, you do need to have the website service going too, uh, because it'll use the same... Uh, back end as this to get this up and running uh, with the exception of adding you know some more files and things like that that we'll talk about as we start the service so let's go ahead and take a look at the different elements here you can see uh, status is offline the service isn't uh, live yet we've got the same thing we have in all the other services where you can edit permissions right here you can cr uh, allow the wiki uh, to be created for all users or only some users in terms of who has access to it and so you can specify that in my case, I'm just going to leave it with all users and say cancel there. Um, the other thing is, is it's, got, it's just basically got one setting, and that is whether or not you want to enable WebDAV access to wiki files. Uh, so what this does is this allows your iOS users to edit files on the wiki using iWork. And so if you've got things like pages documents or um, you know maybe you've got numbers, spreadsheets, or whatever that you want to put on the wiki, enabling this WebDAV access along with the OS X server service now, especially that's built into all the different uh, iOS devices now, uh, you can go ahead and pull up some of these files right off the wiki inside of um, uh, applications like pages and numbers and those sorts of things and you'd be able to access these things right off that website and be able to download them and then edit them in iWork. So in other words it's a pretty nice uh, way to do that uh, to get those things set and so I just wanted to make sure you knew that. So you want to go ahead and check that. Uh, again unless you don't want to have access to those files then you'd leave that off. So once we've got that set, and pretty much that's all the settings, we're going to go ahead and throw the switch to turn the wiki on. And you can see that it's starting the service right now. Going to wait until it gets that service all set up and ready to go. And then you notice that as soon as we started this, it's starting the service, but we have get this uh, open in Safari button that uh, opens up to us. Again, we're not going to be able to press that until the status of the service shows that it is live, which it is. You can see there it's available at this web address, so I could put that into a browser. Or if I just go ahead and click this button here, it'll open it in Safari for me. And so again, let me just pull this down. We get the warning that says it uh, can't verify the website. We're going to say continue because we know it's our uh, particular um, certificate, so we know it's safe. And so this is the wiki website, and this is what comes up once we launch this. Uh, you'll notice right on the front I can log in to access more services, which I'm going to do in a minute. But you'll notice right away it says welcome to server, and you've got access to your documents, to all activity, to the different people uh, that you have set up on your server that have their own blogs and that sort of thing and then the different wikis that you use to communicate and collaborate. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with wikis, it's, it's like a, uh, a thread of uh, different things where you can add your own comments, you can add posts, you can share stuff, and it just adds to all of that uh, different content for you. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and let's go ahead and log in so I can give you a tour of this. So I'm going to put in my credentials right now. Once I have those credentials in there, I'm going to go ahead and log in. I'm not going to save that. Okay, so now we've taken care of that and we're logged in. Now, a couple of other things to notice. I want you to see across the top here, we've got this toolbar. If I just click uh, on the side here, you'll notice I get this drop down. It shows my name. It shows the wiki, and then it'll show my activity, my documents, my favorites, all activity, all the wikis, all people, and then even a web calendar. Now, if we've enabled the web, uh, enabled the calendar uh, service, you'll get this web calendar. Let me just show you that first. I'm going to go ahead and click on the web calendar. And so you do get this fully functional online web calendar, and this is the calendar that uh, is created on the server. And so I can go in here and add... Uh, different appointments and things and uh, these things will show up then uh, you know on my devices and all that when I add these in fact I just click the I here 
Uh, I can go ahead and change the different uh, colors and things. And if I wanted to subscribe, I could subscribe to this calendar and it would show up in the calendar service. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. just wanted to show you that that was here so that you could see how that works. I do have some basic settings uh, just in terms of time zone and when the weeks start and delegates and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and cancel that. But I just wanted to show there is a web server uh, that's built in. Let's go ahead and go back to the wiki. So you'll see that all of this stuff here is similar to these things out here, and they do overlap. Now before I go into the different pages, I do want to show you that up across here, I do have the option to do some various things. I can click this pencil here, and this allows me to edit the site. You'll notice now I've got a cursor here, and I can say, you know, let's say, welcome to, let's say, my server. Whoop. So I can say, you know, my server here. And so I can put that on there if I want to do that. Um, I can go ahead and edit all the text that's on here and make it however I want to make it look. Uh, I could delete things uh, if I wanted to. Notice that as I hover over this, these are shortcuts to my various uh, aspects of my site. I can get rid of them if I want to at any time. I've also got some options across here to do some of these edits. Uh, as you'll notice here, I can uh, add an attachment and choose a file and then upload one to add on here. Let's say cancel there. Uh, I can go ahead and add a uh, table to the page if I wanted to do that. I just click on a table and it would add one uh, for me. I'm going to go ahead and cancel it because I don't want to add a table right now. Let's go ahead and go back to edit. Uh, I can add a, an HTML uh, snippet. So if you've got snippets from other services, you can add those in there. Uh, and then I can do formatting in the paragraph. I can do you know different options uh, for the text. Uh, I can also include a new page or a link to another page. And then you've got your basic word processing stuff here in terms of whether it's centered or justified the other direction, right? So if I justify this direction or justify that direction, you can see it'll just kind of move the text around. Uh, however I want to make that look. So it does give you a little bit of customizability in here. Uh, again, table settings, I can set that and choose how I want the rows to go. Uh, I'm just going to leave that alone for right now. So I wanted to show you, you can customize this to make it your own. Uh, you know, it's not the most robust set of tools to customize, but it does give you some options. I'm going to go ahead and cancel and just leave that alone. Now, up across here, you'll notice that I can lock this, which would mean to log out. You can say I log myself out. Uh, I can also hit here and do my user settings. And so here's my general settings, name, email address. If I want to add a blog, this is where I would do that. And if I just check that box there, it's going to add a blog for me that I can use. And then I can just play with the appearance if I want to as well. I can upload an icon or I can change the look and feel. If I don't like the uh, blue look there, maybe I like something more uh, along the lines of, oh, I don't know, let's just say gray. Let's say I want some gray on there. I can upload a custom banner. If I want something to go uh, across the top, I can put that in there and a custom background. Now let's go ahead and just save the color theme change there. And so now it's going to reload, and you'll notice I've got this little bit grayer background. And you'll see that a little bit more when I go into the sites. I can also add things from here. If I just click this plus, I can do a new page in my documents. I can upload a file. I can do a new blog post or a new wiki. Just wanted to show you that that's there. All right, so let's go ahead and just click on, uh, let's say, my documents. And so now you see I've got this gray interface. Uh, before it was blue, now it's gray. And this is where all of my different documents would be listed. And so uh, you can see here I've got my basic uh, you know, information here. This is my uh, setup here for uh, a profile page where I can put in uh, information about myself and go through and edit this. Uh, so that makes it nice that I can edit my uh, information there. Every time I add, let me just go back, every time I add a document it will show up on here and those will be listed uh, in this space. So if I just uh, came in here, hit the plus button, said upload a file, and when you go to choose a file it brings down this drop down that lets you uh, upload information uh, to the website. And so I can just, for instance, let's go in here and just pick a pick a file. Let's just pick this one. It's not a great one, but we'll just choose it anyway. So we're going to go ahead and upload that file. And so now it's going through the process. And so it's going to show me the uh, file that I uploaded once it's there. So it might take a little bit of time to get that uh, onto the site. And you can see here it's starting to take shape. And it's going to load. And so there's a picture, right? So I uploaded a picture. And it shows right there. If I go back, uh, if I just click on my documents there, you'll see now it's added that document here. 
Um, and so now that's available. Now, let's go over to uh, activity. Uh, you'll see that it shows this is the last thing I uploaded. and tells me when I uploaded this particular file. I can view things as the unread th activity or things I favorited uh, on here. If I hit on home, uh, this is my home page here where my profile would be. And you can see it'll show my recent documents on the side. And I can choose notifications for it to include in all activity. Or I can also email me when different things are updated on my page. Now, again, I'd have to have the email service going to make that work, but I do have that there. Uh, so I just wanted to show you that. You can also create tags if you wanted to uh, in here. Uh, so you can, you can add uh, tags. Actually, you would do that. Let's go to my document here, and let's go ahead and pull this up. And we go here to Tags. And just go drop down here. And then I can add a tag in here. And so if I just hit the plus, I can say, let's say, uh, beach, and add that. And so now that gets added, and sky, and, uh, you know, yellow, you know, blue. You know, you just kind of add whatever tags you want to a uh, particular area here. And then what will happen is those tags now will show up over here. You can see all the tags are there. So it just kind of gives you a list of what your tags are when you have that set up. Come back in here. Uh, it'll show you any related documents if you wanted to link this to another document. You know, for instance, if I wanted to uh, hit this and see, try to link it to something, uh, I'd have to have uh, a document to link it to, so I really don't have one that's there. But I could link it to a document uh, that I would have, let's say this one right here. And so I can make it related to that document, and then you can see other documents that are related. So it does allow you to do those sorts of things. Uh, I got a whole commenting system in here uh, that I can add in. I just want to give you kind of a quick overview. Say, great photo. Okay, and we're going to add that. And so you get this commenting system, and so people can comment on it. Uh, again, my notifications are there, my history, and then sharing. Uh, I can share with, hit the edit and choose uh, you know, users that I want to share it with and choose the access and all of that kind of specifics about it in case I want to keep it private or I want to share it. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I don't need that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Uh, another thing you get is a blog. And so if I added a blog, I've got blog uh, uh, stuff here. If I want to add a blog post, I would just come up here and say new post in my blog. I can title it something. Uh, let's say test. We're going to go ahead and add that. And now I can go ahead and edit this and just say, you know, uh, here is my blog. You know, and I can put information in there, pictures, whatever I want, and have all of that show up here, tags the whole thing. If I hit save, there's my blog page. And so now that it, that is actually saved, go back to activity. And uh, you can see there's my blog page that I added up here, as well as my picture that I added. So like you, like you can see, I mean, it does give you some flexibility to do some things. Again, with the wiki itself, I can start a new wiki here. I can call this test again, and this is a test. This is going to give you an idea. Hit continue. I can choose the access, whether anybody has access or not. Let's say they're going to have read-only access, and let's say read and write. And uh, I can type in a user's name. So let's say, let's say John Doe. So I'm going to give John Doe read-only access. Everybody else is going to have this. Say continue. Choose the color. I can choose a wiki icon. Uh, so I'm going to, let's, let's go dark blue on this one. We're going to say create. Go to the wiki. And it's going to load the wiki page for us. And now this is the wiki page where I can add uh, all the different information that I want to add in here. And it's kind of like its own separate blog. Okay, so that's how that would work. Uh, again, at any time, if I want to come back here, I can come back to my activity and I'm back on this page. So that gives you an idea of how the wiki works. Again, it's a, it's a pretty simple interface, but for those of you that might want to use a website at home and kind of have it for family collaboration or whatever, uh, it's a good tool to have. Now, all of this information will go under the wiki folder in the server folder in the uh, uh, library uh, folder um, for where you have all of your different server information. So that's uh, part of what gets backed up with Time Machine and all those kinds of things for migration and all of that. So anyways, just wanted to give you a tour of the wiki. Let's go ahead and pop this down and come back into the server uh, screen. So hopefully that helps you get started with wiki. 
and that's all I have for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac. If you're interested in help in setting up your own server, feel free to contact me at todd at toddoltoff.com.